So, one of the benefits of having grandchildren, and one of the joys of having grandchildren, is that you get to introduce them to some of the toys that you had growing up. And one of my favourites was Skelextric, and our grandson loves the Skelextric. We build a track in the garage when he comes over, and go and play like children should play. Recently, however, we bought some new bits to go with our Skelextric's track. I should say this is a modern digital Skelextric, it's not an analogue. And the problem was that our trigger started getting a little bit intermittent. So today we're going to show you how we take a trigger apart, give it a clean and hopefully bring it back to new. So there's very little that you need in the way of tools to do this. We need a Phillips screwdriver, we need some cotton buds and we need some contact cleaner. Now a lot of people will use just WD-40 instead of contact cleaner. And whilst WD-40 is very good for its purpose, for this purpose, contact cleaner is a hundred times better. Don't use WD-40 for this job, it'll not do it properly. You'll see the difference hopefully when we clean these. So, the first thing we have to do is take the top cover off. So it's just four clips, they're a bit stiff, mine's don't break them, and that's the cover off. The cover on the back of the hand grip comes off in exactly the same way. It too is quite tight. But for some reason when I take that off, it never flies away. Next, we've got three Phillips screws to undo. A magnetic screwdriver is very helpful for this, but if you don't have one, don't worry. You can just loosen the screw, tip it upside down for gravity to take it out, and then spend the next 20 minutes crawling around the floor on your hands and knees looking for where you dropped it. Let's face it, we've all done it so many times. And that should allow us just to lift the cover off the trigger. Hopefully without dropping it. There we go. And you can see all the workings are held on the left hand side. Now before we proceed, it's important to have a cup of tea, because there's always time for tea. Now, this is the circuit board at the top that we want to clean. And to get to it, we need to lift the trigger out of the way. So I tend to put my finger on top of the circuit board for the buttons, make sure that doesn't come out, and then just lift the spring off, lift the trigger off its pivot, and put it to one side. This is the circuit board we want to clean at the top, and it will just lift out like that. Both sides of it need to be cleaned, that's where we get our cotton bud, bit of contact cleaner, and if you're thinking this cotton bud's already dirty, it's because we've actually already cleaned this one three takes ago. <laughs> but the pain we go through, just to try and give you some good content. We will clean the circuit board with the cotton bud. Make sure you don't scratch it or anything like that. It's only the soft side of the cotton bud you want to use. Both sides, and then slide the trigger to the end, or the slider rather, and that will give you access to the bit that was hidden behind. And as you can see, there is dirt that comes off it. Very easy, just slot the circuit board back into its place, put the slider to the, the off end and make sure your wires are nicely tucked in out of the way. Next. Now we can put the trigger back in. Hook the spring in place, thumb over the end of it to stop it jumping off 
and we want to relocate the fork over the contact slider like that and then pop the hole of the trigger over the pivot pin in the housing and you can see it works as it should do. Make sure your cable gland is in place. I tend to find holding it with my little fingers works quite well. And then the cover here can just slide back on. Make sure you get the buttons lined and it's ever such a nice tidy fit like that. Pop the screws back in. If you've got to this stage you probably know how to put it back together again. But we're going to show you anyway. Don't over tighten the screws, you don't want to strip the threads. They just need a nice wee gentle nip and you can see the casing is all well closed around all sides. Pop the grip cover back on. Click it down firmly and the same with the top cover. Oops. There we go. So I hope that was helpful to you. As you can see it only takes five minutes and it doesn't take much in the way of tools. All I need now are some grandchildren to come and help me test it out. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time on weekends with Adam the Bloke.